The panel is classified M and is recommended for viewing by mature audiences. It may contain some coarse language and adult themes. from the soprano is that an insult because i read the uh you know the account. no it's not no no no, no. Well, but you know the, the guy the butler yes. the butler of uh, princess di mm. yes yes and he paul said burrell? paul burrell and he said that uh, one of his admissions to to the to the to the dailies was that prince charles once described uh, Princess Diana, as you look like someone from the mafia. He's, he's, is, he is that an offence to all? As in, is that because I? That's a compliment. But that was the thing. That was the thing about her facial hair, rather than what she was wearing. I think. Well, if you question your partner's what you wear, well, see, you know that depends because. I think in a healthy relationship, yes. jokes like that are mm. uh, exactly that, just jokes, and they're part of the... Yeah, but not when you're... But no, not, not when, when you're, you're about to go out, and, and you're about to go out in public, and you're yeah. feeling yes, a little bit... Yes, that's right. You know, because yeah. I'm very sensitive with... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And especially yes. not if your loved one has thrown herself down the stairs because she's so desperately unhappy being yeah. married exactly. to you. Yeah, yeah. She, she probably shouldn't be married. She had uh, this butler uh, used to smuggle... Men yeah. in, in the booth. In the booth. Oh, it was no. like going to the drive-in at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> and in, and then they would spend the night and have a lie-in, as oh, it was described. Yes. But I reckon tactical error for a princess died there because then he, the butler had to drive the yes, guy home. How did now, that? how yeah. long before two blokes in a car in a situation like that <laughs> oh, yes. wouldn't break the silence with the phrase, so, how was it? <laughs> <laughs> you just know that was going to be the, the chat. Well, it's quite Dr. interesting, Hazard though, because yeah. apparently they're so obsessed with with security mm. understandably mm. so but that they used to go in through princess margaret's entrance Ooh, that's right yeah. her courtyard <laughs> 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 yeah, it's terribly painful um, <laughs> I, won't, I won't tell you how they used to leave <laughs> <laughs> but apparently she didn't have any security in her uh, in her front because no, they figured no one <laughs> was going to they wanted someone to kill her yeah um, Not in all happen. seriousness did oh. you did you you know the background of this the that he he was been charged for five years and then yes. the queen like no, stepped in. Yes. no no the queen moment. remembered key mm. information mm. and said oh this might be important to you i mm. remember he described all these things he's accused of mm. to me and paul burrell was asked for a comment of what he felt about the queen's information this is what he said <clears throat> once again things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday <laughs> <laughs> That's that looks like it doesn't quite look. No, he, he must he have was a lot younger looked a different. Yes. Yes. And I, I got to say, no, in all seriousness, I got to no, no. The the judge mm. they got the defence mm. counsel prosecutor said mm. came up and explained the situation. Yes. And the judge said this. Oh. Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. <laughs> that really I, I couldn't judge. Yeah. That's no, I just couldn't think of it. I love that clip. So I just thought it. So there have been attacks on, I mean, it sounds like nobody has won in this thing. I mean, the Queen's come out looking yes. bad, yes. he's come out looking yeah. bad, everybody's come out looking bad. And everything bad. they want to keep secret now yeah. has, he's got to has come to light yeah. But anyway. the, the first newspaper to actually do it was The Sun in, in England, even though he didn't do the deal with them. So they leaked it and they've been restrained, so they're not allowed to do it. So they've now turned major on, on, on the on the butler. And listen to, this is, this <laughs> kind of, yeah, they've turned on the butler. Oh, they're they're okay. describing, he's, it was characteristic, this was his reaction to the court. Sorry, wait a second. It was characteristic. Santa's about to read. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was characteristic of a man obviously in touch and at ease with his feminine side. Uh, the pair had struck up a unique friendship uh, based on gossiping section, sessions, fashion consultants and boyfriend troubles. Are they implying that this guy is like... Who is he implying who and who? The, 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 they're Paul having, they're having a go at Burrell, as in yeah, this guy's right, a right. bit of a pansy. Well, and when, when Prince Charles used to give a, a urine sample... Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, yeah. 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 That's not, you know... I'm not putting that on my resume if I'm a butler, but I'm, then I'm going to be... Does, 
Yeah, would he? What, what's he holding? No, he had to hold those specimen bottles. Yeah, but yeah. what's the difference between holding the specimen? Well, can I tell you? I glass, I I what was Charles doing that he couldn't <laughs> hold it himself? Was <laughs> <laughs> he like, you know? He was probably, probably doing the form guide for the Melbourne Cup or something. Reese, my, yeah, my hands are so important. Speaking of the cup, Glenn, you were, um, you, I think you were the only one of us actually made it out to the track. I went out to uh, Derby Day. Oh, OK. Yes. Oh, you went actually the, the, the first at the one. Mm. Yes, Derby no. Day is in some ways eclipsing the cup as a big day to it's go to. It's one, yes, one yes. big event. But the cup, that was a pretty amazing, um, that, that real fairy tale when, when Damien Oliver... Oh, um, oh yes. Uh, yes. Uh, rode the winner. Did you see the, the, that strange interview? You know, they have, they have the guy, the jockey, riding alongside uh, Johnny Lips yes. is his name. And he was speaking to Damien Oliver before he thought they were going to air. This oh. is... This is I'll get you in a minute. I want you really up high on this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay? We're ready to go, Damien. This one meant a lot to you, didn't oh. it? The Melbourne Cup. It did, Johnny. Giving yeah. him a little oh. bit of... Now, I, I, we still... We've watched that a few times. We still don't know what he means, but I want you really up high on this one. I think it's... I reckon it's high just to get above the, above the horse because... How can the jockey be up high? It's, 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 <laughs> it's not... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so the, the horse didn't go in front oh, of his face. So you're, oh, you're saying it's a vibe think? thing, Tom. Is that I reckon what? it was a vibe. I want no. you, like, pumped and... Yeah. Would I, I, you say that to Damien Oliver? Be, you'd hope not, the, but, you but, you know, in the interest of, you know, you want a good interview. In fact, he actually said more stuff before before that, which I reckon was... He was actually saying what I'm about to ask you, which we didn't see then. But... It was. I think it was to get above the horse. Okay. Oh, do you think? Oh, the horse's head. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, I reckon. Oh, it's, it's I reckon it's probably stuff he says to all jockeys. You know, speaking right. of good interviews, mm. and you know, there's something in, and I know that we've talked about this before, but about live television and stuff happens that just wouldn't, mm -hmm. as in every week on the show. Mm -hmm. But yes. this is the most extraordinary thing on television this week that Larry King Live, the American interviewer, had Heather Mills on, mm -hmm. Paul McCartney's wife, yes. mm -hmm. Sir Paul McCartney's wife. Mm -hmm. You know she's got, she's an amputee. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what happened in his live interview with her. But the limbs in England weren't very good, so I designed this leg, which I'll pop off actually if you don't mind, Not just to show, if this is just basically, not to be dramatic, but just Where to show people, again? it ends just below the knee. So this is to show people the quality of the leg that you can actually get. Oh, it feels like a leg. Yeah, <laughs> but in America you don't have that quality here. Now, so what do you pick, pick your leg up again? What do you it's a screw do you on have the any end of it? Feeling there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full feeling, completely. Full feeling. Full feeling. If you touch it, it makes me feel like my toes are completely opening, and um, Paul's going to get upset. You touching my leg, Larry? Now this is amazing. <laughs> this did not turn Paul off. No, not at all. Because you could imagine many more. Or any boyfriends before that. Every guy I've been out with has asked me to marry them within a week, so... <laughs> because of a leg? It is, well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's just I don't very know, because she's very... She's, intelligent you know. Girl. But that is that extraordinary? Mm. And do you think Absolutely. Larry was entirely comfortable with it? No, the... I don't think he was. And I also think the question, did this turn Paul off, mm. only came in the way... If, that if you were doing an interview where you'd had... It was pre-recorded and yep. you'd had, you know five hours to think about it, you wouldn't ask someone hmm. that. Have you, uh, did you see the documentary on uh, a couple of weeks ago about the disorder where people only feel satisfied with their life because of um, something that's happened in their childhood if they remove a number of their limbs? Well, this is quite serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dys dysmorphia? Dys no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dys dys yeah. It's got it's a, it's just a stumpfing from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this, this woman wanted to have both her legs cut off like and really? wanted to be in a wheelchair because she'd seen someone, an amputee as child, and become obsessed with it. And then the only way for her to be truly happy was, was, it a, was to have... Was to go on Larry King Live. Yeah, yeah. Wow. but it's, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Anyway, it just made me think of it when well, I saw I the... Well, I don't think she end. comes into that category. Yeah. She was hit by a bus. We, uh, <laughs> we yeah. have a... I'm sorry to take you down. Spinning sorry. rapidly out. Sorry. Sorry. Heather Graham, sorry. Sorry. Heather sorry. Graham sorry. and Mark Moore are going to join us a little bit later on, but that's right after... Kids. Content may be hot. 
it's not what it looks like. Jason Biggs and Lena Savari in the comedy to sink your teeth into. We'll just tell your mother that, uh, that uh, we ate it all. American Pie, 8.30 Sunday on 10. You now have the power to choose a gas retailer that best suits your needs. Take your time and make sure you're well informed before making a choice between companies. More information is available from the Essential Services Commission. Visit our website or call. You can already choose your electricity retailer. Now you can also choose your gas retailer. Is your hair breaking up? Is your hair all partied out? Discover new Garnier Fructus, the first fortifying shampoo with active fruit concentrate. Garnier Fructus, it's proven. The strengthening vitamins and shine enhancing fruit acids work deep inside making your hair twice as strong and more resistant to breakage. New Garnier Fructus fortifying shampoo for hair that shines with all its strength. revolutionary V-shaped ripples, making it a fast-absorbing paper towel for an effective and easier clean. Life's V-messy. Soak it up with Viva. To make space for new models, Toyota dealers must go one better. With better savings and better value on all RAV4s fitted with free Toyota Genuine Air to save you over $2,000. Better hurry. I want to be with Toyota. something is do you i get with when i watch a bit of racing i feel um embarrassed that i don't know all the vernacular do oh, you get a bit like that you almost yeah. feel afraid to step up it's almost like hey if you don't know racing shut up well, and it's so up. much it's like there's you know ten thousand live units and you go oh good good <laughs> ten thousand yeah. that's good i tell you one that i love <laughs> they're they're they, go, they go into the mounting yard and they what what do you do you remember they always comment on when they're in the mounting yard oh, mm. the walk the Beauti way they walk beautiful coat coat Mm. Yeah, and I'm going, what is going, I mean, you train scientifically, yeah, yeah. and then you, this huge half a tonne of beast walks in and goes, oh, what a coat. Yeah. One of the trainers arrived, didn't he, say, and said, uh, uh, from overseas, saying, oh, my horse's coat's looking a bit grey than I thought. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so the difference between a thoroughbred and a hack is a bottle of No More Tangles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say, imagine in the Olympics in the 100 metre dash, if they're standing there and go, yeah, there's uh, so and so, there's so, uh, oh, what a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> yeah. They got some, but it sounds yeah, it sounds authoritative. Oh, that, you know, everyone knows but horses. Is it a sign of? It must be a sign of health in a horse. Yeah, is or, it? I would have thought speed is a sign. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Did, did you speed into the mountain? Now, did you see? Uh, have a look here. Damien Oliver, amazing ride to win the Melbourne Cup. Mm. He broke a law here. Have a look at this. Oh, Let's see jump, the, he can wave the it jump on. Oh. He jumped on the sponsor. Oh, no, 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 no,
No, I, uh, this is the first year I did not know who won the Melbourne Cup until this morning. Why? Because I was did away camping. Yeah, I know, but and why? And then tried to listen on the radio and it was all fun. We will return to the camping yeah, thing yeah. in just a moment. Oh, so you didn't actually... No, I didn't, and I didn't have a bet for the first time, mm. ex except in the office suite. Okay, how long was it before you found out? This morning. <laughs> 5.30 this morning. Hard, Who was the camping site? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, then in the car. It was all, I don't know why. And then when I got home last night, it was like so 11 o'clock or whatever. I was exhausted. So it didn't stop the nation. No, no yeah. well. This is, this is my yeah. point, right. Santa, yeah. is that I was I actually pulled over the side of the road to listen to the race, mm. and I happened to be opposite a service station. You know how the idea is uh, the yes, race that stops yes, the nation? Yes, yes. Mm. Um, and I looked into the service station, and right as they were going, and Damien Oliver takes yes. it to the line, a guy was standing in the auto teller machine going, in fact, a great <laughs> Terry, Terry, uh, God, his name was just told me he was at the ABC when Aunt Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, yeah. and they're all standing there going like this, and the guy goes, "Excuse me, excuse me." And he was reloading the cigarette mach vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Light has to go Wouldn't that be good to send out a series of cameras and get yeah, this is so what, what people what were, were doing. Really were doing? Well, you know, because at the time I was driving past a farmer <laughs> who was on his tractor ploughing his field. But he might have been listening. He might have been well, listening. he could have been, but he didn't stop. Ah. But <laughs> it didn't stop him. <laughs> yeah. I reckon if you're from yeah. the bush, you're yeah, on Yeah, it might be slightly okay. different. It's because you thought the other big event, uh, the uh, the first test, kicks yes. off tomorrow. I think it's even if you don't like cricket, it's a... The fact would not like yes. <laughs> you the mere fact that it's on television mm. reminds you that it's summer. That's mm. true. That and it's very exciting because we actually have Richie Benno <gasps> on the line. Oh, okay. Richie, do uh, yeah, we do. Richie, are you there? Are you there? Uh, commentary team captain's office, uh, Benno speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Glenn Robbins and the team from the panel here, Richie. Uh, how are you? Yes, uh, good, thanks, uh, Glenn. Uh, just give me a second, will you? Bill and Tony, will you stop buggerising around and do some work, please? <laughs> this is a commentary practice session, not a bloody playground. I'm sorry, Ben, are you there? No, it's... It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's Glenn, actually, Richie. Uh, Glenn, Rich, sorry. Richie, uh, <laughs> you must be excited with the first test and the season coming up. Well, I can uh, tell you it's shaping up to be as boring as batshit, Glenn. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, very worried about it. Uh, you've got Australia on fire at the moment, performing beautifully, as we saw over there in Sharjah. It was a marvellous effort, that, but there's usual England on the crest of a slump. <laughs> and uh, as we kick off what could be a very one-sided series, that's why I've been working the commentary team so hard in practice. Yeah. It's vitally important to keep the commentary up vibe and interesting, uh, even if the game itself is down vibe and uninteresting. Yes. Uh, Richie, uh, the one day is they're a bit more exciting. Sri Lanka's coming, I believe. Yes, that's right. Uh, Sri Lankans are coming down in uh, preparation for the World Cup. And as far as excitement goes, well, we can only hope that one day is a bit more exciting. Uh, Kerry's going to be fucking rapeable. <laughs> <laughs> Sources. Yeah. They're entirely sure that's the Richie, wasn't it? That was actually Richie, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Benno would use that sort of language. You, you'd use that sort of language, wouldn't you, Richie? Uh, look, I don't use that sort of language, uh, nor do any of my fellow commentators, but it's just that when you think about the big fella, you just can't help but slip into that vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Richie, uh, Glenn, I think, uh, I think Sri Lanka will be competitive. You know, they've got a couple of brilliant pace bowlers, a cut a bunch of lavender and shoved them into bars. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, their, opening, uh, their opening batsmen, I feel like a Chandra and a Martinita Poo, too. They're both in good form. <laughs> we may, uh, would you please thank Mr. Billy Boone? Billy Boone. Yeah. Yeah. the Did funniest I? things I've ever heard. I learned more that, about that, about yes. cricket from listening to that album. <coughs> yes. But oh. I thought Richie Benno had retired and was doing his, had retired to his winery. Vineyard. No, no, he's back. Chateau, yes. Chateau, yes. Chateau back. all over the world. Chateau, 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 Chateau. He, he is back. Look, just, in fact, we've got Mark Ward joining us. Uh, in oh, fantastic. Peter Graham and Mark Ward joining us. But just quickly, can we see a little bit of a, a report that went to air on Channel 10 News and uh, mm -hmm. the other day didn't quite go according to plan. Oh. You'll get the, the general idea. Oh, Reptiles are a big draw card. <laughs> Come on, get going. Reptiles are a big draw card at the store. It's owner fearing the animals were destined for the black market. I can feel strangulation. <laughs> Brought to you by SPC. Goodness me, it's SPC. After the panel in 10 News, 
Indonesian police claim they've arrested the owner of the van used in the Bali bomb blasts. The schoolgirl and her boyfriend jailed over a stabbing murder, the crime fueled by passion and jealousy. Diplomatic anger as Malaysia's Dr Mahathir says it's not safe for Muslims to live here. A wildlife tragedy in Tasmania, nine whales beach themselves and motoring organisations name the best models on the market. 10 News. And coming up in sports tonight, paceman Brett Lee has been dumped from the Australian test side for the first time in 24 tests. Andy Bickle preferred for tomorrow's first Ashes test in Brisbane. He's played very good cricket in the last two tests, deserves his chance and uh, he'll take it. Injured Wallabies winger Ben Tune has called for a longer layoff season as the battered Aussies prepare to face Ireland in Dublin. Well, at the moment they're pretty buggered to be honest. Those stories, plenty more sports tonight. that won't get thrown away. Goodness me, it's SPC. Did you have to, you must have obviously, are you a dancer? 